Hi, my name is Muhammad Shabazz and today we will be talking about limited effect theory. But before getting into the theory, I want to pose some questions uh, which will draw your attention and will keep you uh, involved in this whole lecture. Uh, the first question is, which uh, news channel do you watch? Take a moment and think about it. And why do you watch that specific channel? The answer lies uh, within uh, the limited effect theory. Uh, I'll give you a brief definition of uh, the theory. Uh, it talks about even if the individuals uh, have some effect of media, uh, the effect of media is either limited or minimal uh, by its nature. Uh, the theory was presented by Australian uh, American sociologist Paul uh, Lazarsfeld, uh, who proposed it in 1940. Uh, the question in the literature was prominent that media influenced public life and the decision making process. And at that time, uh, it was particularly the uh, uh, Second World War time and the post Second World War time. Uh, where the propaganda uh, was uh, something which was very much common in, uh, in, in the public sphere. And if we talk about at the state level, the states were also sponsoring propaganda uh, through their official channels and official uh, media uh, mediums. It was a result of uh, survey research on the topic of media influence. It basically started as a research topic uh, initially. Uh, the research was either conducted uh, uh, through uh, some kind of uh, speculations or existing uh, material or literature, uh, but this led to the foundation of the empirical research. The development process uh, which involved in this theory was a scholar, uh, Lazarfield and Hovland, who were actually not Methodists, but they were theorists. Uh, and they applied the empirical method uh, to assess the behaviors of individual. Uh, Rock, Rockefeller Foundation argued that the experiment and the surveys made it possible to observe and make conclusion directly. The conclusion uh, would work as the guiding measure for more systematic observation despite wild assumptions. Uh, initially, it was assumed or speculated that either this factor will have uh, this uh, effect on the public or the general uh, public uh, through the media or the propaganda, but they used those empirical methods through surveys, either people have uh, that uh, effect which has been posted or which has been assumed by the theorists. Uh, it was a time uh, of elections when he, uh, when they went into the public and they started getting uh, data, either people who are supporting the specific party, uh, I, uh, do they carry that narrative till the end of the election day or does, it change, uh, does the narrative get changed or uh, their feelings for the party gets changed. So they divided into four groups. One was uh, the, the crystal uh, group who uh, were supporting uh, some specific party and their support and their opinion about the party uh, was uh, getting crystallized over the time. Uh, the second type of uh, uh, the group was the ardent followers who were uh, following blindly the party and uh, their opinion about the party was not changed at till the end of the uh, election day. And the third type of the party, uh, the third type of the group was uh, those who were not sure about uh, who, whom they are going to vote. But at the end of the day, they voted uh, the party they initially opted first. And the fourth group was that who were uh, initially supporting party A, but ended in uh, voting for the party B. This led to uh, uh, this uh, observation and the research uh, find out more things about how uh, the influence of media uh, changes or uh, tends to change the individual decision.
The most prominent tool in the media at that time, as I already told, was propaganda, though it requires a medium. Uh, we cannot say it is just due to media. Propaganda was something which uh, has been used as tool uh, since uh, the beginning of uh, this state, um, uh, the, the, the statecraft. Uh, if we talk about the at the time of Thucydides, uh, the actual uh, time of Thucydides, uh, when the Spartans and the Athenians were in confrontation, they were also using uh, this specific tool uh, to get over each other. Uh, it is hard to reach the motivational point which can trigger or which can alter the opinion of an individual. The survey also observed that media influence was not prominent as compared to education and the social status. The nuance thing which uh, this survey presented uh, was uh, the, the factors which can influence uh, the decision making process. The typical assumption, the media effects were either isolated or were in stark contradiction. Uh, it led to uh, the application uh, of the theory throughout 1950s, 60s and 70s. It was something which provided social sciences a new area uh, for the research and it provided a life to uh, the uh, the scientific work and the scientific scholars to apply uh, 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 the behaviors uh, of uh, the people and get the get the result through uh, empirical studies uh, later uh, this approach got uh, applied in political science history social uh, psychology and sociology and economics what were the limitation of uh, Lazar's uh, approach? It was something that um, initially uh, anti-propaganda uh, kind of approach uh, in the World War II and to present something that uh, um, something which is influenced, uh, an opinion is influenced by the media. So it should be uh, something, a scientific um, uh, kind of projection. So uh, initially uh, it was um, tested uh, within, uh, within a group of uh, military uh, and it was kind of a hybrid or you can say uh, a laboratory kind of uh, um, environment uh, which applied this theory and provided the result. So the original conditions uh, on ground were different as compared to uh, the laboratory condition. Uh, this is considered to be a drawback of uh, this theory. What the theory itself says, uh, let's uh, come to uh, the main body of the theory. The theory says uh, media can exploit your existing opinions or can make uh, those opinions more uh, strengthened uh, by providing you or by uh, presenting you the content which you want to watch. Uh, it cannot uh, just exploit something or inject something which is uh, not acceptable uh, by something and it is uh, filtered by uh, the selective process. The selective process talks about um, uh, the, the, the person who is getting the information. Uh, it tries to uh, avoid or tries to limit or filter that information which is not aligning with the cognition. Uh, if the uh, information that aligns with the cognition, the person tries, uh, tends to uh, tilt toward that information. And this also is uh, very much uh, common in uh, in day-to-day -day, uh, things. Uh, the question which I posed earlier at the beginning of uh, this video, that which type of uh, news channel do you, uh, do you watch or um, why you watch that specific news channel, uh, it tends to answer that question that uh, you try to or anyone who uh, watches CNN, Fox News or anyone uh, or any other news channel, it has some connection and internal connection which a person feels that this uh, channel or this uh, platform is providing the accurate information or something which aligns with the uh, mindset or uh, the opinion of that person. Uh, if that person watches an other news channel that brings the in the new information 
takes uh, that individual into cognitive dissonance, uh, uh, which is uh, which works through uh, the in, uh, introduction of the uh, new information. Uh, it depends either the person grasp or not. Uh, if uh, it has, uh, if the person has uh, the broad spectrum to absorb uh, the new information and to uh, process that information, the person would be easy to watch. Or in in other case, uh, uh, if the person is not uh, uh, very much uh, into uh, getting the new information, they would um, instantly uh, switch back to their uh, their I mean kind of uh, preferred channel. So the cognitive cognitive uh, consistency tends to preserve the existing views of the person, and it. It happens uh, when uh, the new information is provided, it takes into uh, psychological discomfort, uh, which is uh, a situation uh, every person tries to avoid um, based on their bias or based on their existing opinion. So the mass communication theories, uh, the theories Lazar, uh, Clapper and D. Floor, uh, they uh, subscribe to similar kind of approach in this uh, uh, in this thing so contemporary selective exposure traditional media uh, says that traditional media tends to avoid presenting politically sensitive content making it harder uh, for the people to select the media sources based on the pre-existing beliefs uh, the rise in the partisan uh, media such as fox news cnn bbc it tends to preserve the existing views of their uh, subscribers or their viewers. Uh, if it does not preserve that, uh, and hypothetically I'm saying uh, the person would, uh, if the new channel switches its line from uh, Democrats to Republicans, uh, the, the, the viewer would also change uh, the new channel and would uh, uh, switch to another news channel who, who would uh, just uh, present uh, the, the the news or the material which uh, the person tries or uh, uh, or can absorb uh, the contribution of the limited effect theory uh, it uh, replaced uh, the propaganda uh, th uh, propaganda as theory in general at that time because it was uh, very much in the market and uh, people were just talking about oh the propaganda is gonna uh, bring everybody down everything is propaganda etc uh, the limited effect theory said that a person uh, can only be exploited to limited kind of degree uh, with the existing belief they have uh, it provided a ground for the empirical research and gave the importance to the empirical research over the speculative results and uh, it it turned down uh, a, a gate or it closed the gate for the speculative research so in 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 a nutshell the role of the mass media and the society uh, is limited i'm not saying is uh, the, the the role of the media to influence the public opinion uh, is zero at all i'm not saying that but it is limited. It primarily reinforces existing social trends and rarely initiate any social change. Uh, so for, for uh, if we just talk about uh, the society, the society uh, in general has some norm, has some culture, has some uh, base realities. If that uh, reality is to be uh, demolished, it cannot be solely through uh, media. But it need to be worked at the political and the social perspective to present anti-thesis um, uh, or to uh, create a new theory uh, within the society uh, which can uh, divide the society into two lines it, simply we can just talk about the populism populism also just use uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, approach where the um, where, where they present um, hype uh, or the sensitive content or uh, they can sensitize the information uh, to divide the society mass media um, role in individual life is limited although 
the role tends to be positive uh, it is hypothetically said in the u.s society uh, and it should uh, the, the media plays a positive role uh, either presenting some views through their platform or uh, being a partisan uh, as in, in under the uh, under the banner of the freedom of the media so in general uh, we just talk about uh, in the limited effect theory that it tends to uh, either exploit the existing beliefs or it has limited effect on the society in general.